Whit Whitlock on uh, Fox, uh, for, uh, Fox Sports 1 said the other day, I think the teams are interested in winning and winning right now. Odell Beckham Jr. has very little value. He's not all into football. He costs too much money. He's not so great a player as everybody's made him out to be. He's benefited from a league that has, had, uh, that has gone soft. So let me ask you this. You played with Albert Bell um, and against him. Um, how tough was that knowing for players who played with him every day, knowing he was going to be a problem, but he put up such great stats, you almost had to put up with whatever the problems were. You know, I, that's a, this is this is such a great uh, topic to talk about. I, I think you can have a player like an Albert Bell or an Odell Beckham Jr. You know, you you know the kind of the baggage that that comes with them. Where you can win with them, and I think the only way that you can win with them is if at the end of the day that that player is team first. Period. Not going to make things about himself. Certainly there may be an out, you know, burst here or there, but he's not going to make it about himself. He's going to be a team first guy. You've got a fighting chance if that's the case. Um, if not, you know, I, I, I mean, good luck to you. You know, you've seen all these, you, you, I've heard these discussions where they talk about the diva wide receiver. How many world championships has a diva wide receiver won? Not many. And, and there, yeah, not many, not many at all. And so, you know, that, that's, what, that's what you wonder. And I, I, I got to be honest, you know, there were a couple of incidents a, a season ago with Odell Beckham Jr., but I thought overall I was expecting a lot more nonsense than what we actually yeah. got. None you know, of it was bad. None of, none of it was bad stuff. It was just little, uh, I don't know. Goofy, right. Little hound and peck kind of typing. Yeah, just, uh, just little goofy things. But, yeah. but I thought that he was on his best behavior uh, a season ago, and, and you know, obviously, I think being with Jarvis Landry helps that out, and a position coach that that uh, he had in college being there. I, and I have often said, if he's not going to straighten up with those two guys being around him all the time, and Jarvis Landry, as we well know from Hard Knocks, is not afraid to call guys out and to try and keep right. Kevin line as best he can, um, then then th there was just it was just not going to work out at all. But at the end of the day, it's got to be team first. You've got to buy into the team, and especially with football. Because in my opinion, where I think that baseball is the greatest sport out there, and I know you do too, I think football is the greatest team sport. Because 11 guys aside, and you are so reliant, and the success of the play is so reliant on the guy next to you. You could have the perfect play call. You can have the perfect snap. You can have perfect everything. And, oh, the right guard doesn't do his job. Well, the whole play doesn't work. And so it, it's an amazing, it's just an amazing sport to watch. And that's why I thoroughly love doing the red zone this past fall with, with Andre Knott, um, because you just, you, I just love the game of football and I love the team aspect of it. And if it's not all about the team, I don't care how talented you are, it's going to fall flat. And I think, unfortunately, we saw a lot of that last year with the Browns, lots of big names, lots of excitement and expectations. And it was a verifiable train wreck. Let's go back.